It's a prank taken too far. That's how the Valley Mills police chief is describing damage done to the high school this weekend. Fox 44's Mally Jones, she's in the newsroom with a $16,000 loss. Valley Mills High School is facing Mally. Adam, police say that these five kids drove through the football field, ruining the grass, and that's just the beginning of what they did. In addition to the tire tracks on the gridiron, the vandals rolled the Iron Eagle trailer onto the field and flipped it. Then they threw toilet paper and Tide Pods onto the field. The Valley Mills Police Department says it has identified the five juveniles who committed the crime, but their names are not being released because of their age and the investigation is still ongoing. It went too far and when you have property damage that is sustained and then it gets into an astronomical amount, thousands of dollars in damage, that's when it really hurts the school. A 1992 graduate of Valley Mills High School told Fox 44 she had one word to describe how she felt about the incident. Disgusted. Chief of Police Roy Feacock said a $16,000 loss along with the lower enrollment this year creates a big financial impact on the school. And the school district here, you know, they're not a very wealthy uh, uh, school district, so when you take a hit like this, it can be very impactful. He said the damage is actually higher than 16 grand, but a member of the community is working with the school to fix the landscaping at a reduced price. Superintendent of Valley Mills ISD declined to comment to Fox 44. Feacock says the persons of interest admitted their involvement to Valley Mills PD and that they have been very cooperative. I believe that these are good kids that just made bad choices. Officer Feacock says there's no danger to worry about. This was just kids doing a prank that went too far. In the newsroom, Mally Jones, Fox 44 News.